Good morning and welcome back to another Philosophical Wednesday. I'm with my friend Big Red. He's an LPN and he's been working as one for about five years. I hope you all enjoy. And if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I release new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every Monday is a Manliness Monday where I go over things like beard care, gun safety, camping, and just general good life advice. Every Wednesday is a philosophical question where I split hairs for a while and hope that you gain something out of it. And every Friday is a project video where I cover things like bottle stoppers, beard beads, furniture, and even the camera stand that I'm shooting on right now. So hit that subscribe button and join me. Let's get to it, guys. Is suffering a necessary part of the human condition? And what would people who never suffered be like? Obviously, you know, but other people aren't going to understand this. I've um, had chronic pain since I was 15, 16. Uh, Crohn's, basically everything from my mouth to the other end in flames. It can ulcerate, tear, such, such and such, nausea, vomiting, all the fun GI things that come with the flu and other bugs like that. Pretty much constant. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> now I see why you picked that question. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. Um, do I think suffering is necessary? Is that how you worded it? Uh, yeah, I believe that's how it's worded. I think suffering is yes. illuminating. I think that some people think that you see your true self or one would see their true selves when they are convinced that they will, they can do anything without consequences, right? That's one of the theories, you know, or one of the sayings that got famous throughout the years. Well, I mean, you gotta think, like, young people, especially young people who have never had a major injury, kind of think themselves invincible and stuff. Right, and so, especially men. You know, yeah. Men as a whole see themselves as strong, as, like you said, invincible up to a certain point. Um, and that could be because of tragedy, that could be because of just human nature taking hold of them, but most of them, not all, grow out of it. Um, and they come down to earth, but as far as suffering goes, when you're in pain every day, you see how much and how far you can go. You see how much fight you can put up before you quit. You know, you know that when you need to, you can do just that little bit more. You know, when you have to struggle just to get out of bed to get ready in the morning, and then you have a six, eight hour day of school, or 16 hours of work, as you and I both know I've done a thousand times. I think it breeds a stronger person. So I think people that never suffered, or have, and not just physically, but emotionally as well, I think that they would have less of view of self. You know, they, they wouldn't understand themselves as much as people that have suffered. I think suffering does bring clarity, and just strife in general has always shown the best and worst of humankind. So as part of the human condition, yes, I believe it's absolutely, su suffering is necessary. Now, the degree of suffering. Yeah, that's the, that one, that's an all day kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you're, you're splitting hairs on that one because. Because who's to say that somebody losing an arm in a car accident or losing both their legs from an IED ha is suffering more or less than somebody who had both their parents shot in front of them while they were sitting in their living room watching TV. All right, Bruce. No, you're right though. You, you can't go by and start comparing people's suffering. Right. I know even in nursing, yeah, you have that, that one to 10 scale, but that's subjective to each person. Exactly. And I, I've ripped my knee out multiple, multiple times. Um, my knee is destroyed. And to me, that's like a six. Mm -hmm. But to some people, that's a 12. Yeah, that's like, so, you know, I'll go and I'll slam my hand in a car door or something. And I curse a couple times and I shake it off and it doesn't bother me, yeah. you know? I've broken fingers, toes, burned myself. Yeah. I've never broken a bone. Well, no? any of my own. I broke three, or no, two during basketball. I broke this kid's leg by accident. 
but yeah, I think suffering is. I think it's necessary. It I is think, necessary. Um, like I said, you know, it really illuminates a lot. It shows you a lot of yourself. It shows you who other people are to you too. Your true self definitely comes out when your back is against the wall. And it, it's just not, there, there's financial suffering, there's uh, situational suffering, there's physical suffering, there's religious suffering, where you're going through an existential crisis. There's emotional suffering, seeing people die in front of you, losing loved ones. But I think someone who has never suffered... I think they'd probably be extremely entitled. Yeah. Yeah. They, they would be... Or at least it would... That's the only way I think I can describe it would be like a, a pure entitlement. Yeah. Uh, they would think everything bows down to them. Uh, probably have a god complex to a degree. They would be completely insufferable. Oh, yeah. I know, I'm mincing words. Had to go there. I had to, yes, Let's I did. All right. But yeah, I am mincing words for a little bit of fun. But yes, they would be insufferable. They would be horrible. It shows you your limits. Yeah. And I think if you don't have limits, you will just keep pushing till you find them. Which, I mean, I know we're kind of joking about people who won't suffer being insufferable, you know, to steal your line. But... You know, sitting here thinking about it, could, they could go the other way too. You know, they can be a completely altruistic person. You know, obviously there's exceptions to every rule. And, um, but I, I really don't think, I don't know if they'd have the same strength, strength as somebody else that has had to suffer. I think once something got, starts getting hard or difficult for them, they will not know what to do with it. So they wouldn't know they to push on, push through it, and persevere through it. This is one of those questions you'll never really know, though, because yeah, well, at some point in time, you will suffer. To. Everybody does, yeah. Uh, and as of yet, there's no way to get through life without suffering. No. Even if you live a perfect life, you're going to get a stomach ache. Yeah, but you know what? Like, look, You're going to have growing pains. Your molars are going to come in. Right. Look at these people who have, you know, the perfect lives or, you know, the textbook privileged kids, you know. That just just because they have money in their family doesn't mean that they're happy people. You know, I've known a lot of people with a shit ton of money and they've been miserable little bastards. Yeah. You know, parents are never there. They were raised by the housekeeper, this, that, and the other. So, I mean, I don't see... Yeah, and they've never physically suffered. They've never wanted for anything. Right. Physical, but... There is emotional if, suffering there. Exactly. Parents being in and out of the picture is a whole nother topic. True. But as far as this is, I don't think they've ever had a compass to tell them, you know, why they're suffering. So they just lash out across the board. Right. It's like when kids get disciplined too late. You know, you, parents feed into them, they spoil them, this, that, and the other. And then they try to start disciplining them like they should have in the first place. And they just take your word lash out you know they they uh act in a completely destructive manner yeah what I was looking destructive for. sometimes it's completely self-destructive so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate you coming out and i really appreciate you spending the time with me and there is a big special thanks to uh, big red here for helping me with this uh this last couple set of questions oh you're welcome thanks please let me know what you think in the comment section below about today's question. There are so many different variables to these questions that there is no way that we covered them all. And I would love to see your perspective. What is your point of view on this? How about your own questions to those questions too? Anything that we missed or anything like that? Oh yeah, say, there's there's something that, there, there's bound to be- Obviously there's stuff we missed. Tons of things that we just didn't even consider or things that I had to edit out for reasons. Like you <laughs> laughing left, right, and center? Oh, yeah. yeah. Or just going down a rabbit hole completely left wing. Or that radiator. Uh, or the radiator popping and clicking. <laughs> that radiator does not like I us. can't wait to get out of this apartment. I can't believe you. I said this in the beginning, but if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button. And if you like this, please drop a like. It really does help the channel out a lot. It helps me out. It helps me grow. It helps me be able to bring you better content in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Big Red. And hey, if you want to see more of me... But yeah, let me know. Let me know if uh, you want to see, you know, me have more discussions with them down in the comment section below 
or any of my other guests. And as always, guys, I do this in the morning to help you be thoughtful throughout the day. Enjoy.